What up, everybody? Nerd J Report. Pablo here. Brian. Sam Raimi, Brian. Can I just ask, is this confirmed that he's directing Spider-Man 4, or this is still a rumor? Still a rumor. Okay. But I think it's a rumor that's gotten a little warmer because Justin Lin committed to another project um, in the past week. So now both Drew Goddard and Justin Lin are locked into major productions that would seemingly prevent them from being involved with Spider-Man 4 as they were rumored to be. And you had mentioned that Justin Lin is used to working with a big ensemble. So the yeah. fact that Sam Raimi is doing this and Sam Raimi has a lot of... Uh, connection to the Spider-Man film franchise. What was your thought, Brian, when his name was announced? Sony's desperate. I mean, that was my reaction. I, I what, we, what we're hearing that continues to escalate concern around this project is that they are now rushing for a September film date, but do not have <laughs> either a story written or a director hired. All they have is Tom Holland and Zendaya under contract. That is a terrible formula for making a worthy successor to No Way Home. And it continues in my mind to point to Sony is going to plow ahead with its bloated multiversal version of this and not the friendly neighborhood version that Kevin Feige and Marvel reportedly want to tell and what was set up at the end of No Way Home. I am very concerned about the prospects of this movie right now. And I think Sam Raimi's name being attached to it only adds to my concern. It does not ease it. I think, Brian, this is a opportunity for Sam Raimi to have some sort of redemption for what Spider-Man 3 was because we all know that, and he has been outspoken about what transpired with that film. It wasn't really his movie, Brian, because when you go back and see Spider-Man 2, Brian, I think as a Spider-Man movie, as a Spider-Man, no, forget Spider-Man, as a comic book movie, Brian, it was just wonderfully executed. And Spider-Man 3 is just an atrocity to, for me. And I don't think he had a lot of control as to what he wanted to do with it. He was just told to do this and he did it. He was a hired gun after that. So I think he now has an opportunity to do, yes, Sony's desperate and sure, here's the keys. Do whatever you want this time. So it sets up an opportunity. Uh, it sets up an opportunity for curiosity to see what he'll do. I guess we'll get more of an indication as to where this is going when we get some more names that are tied to this 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 movie. But I'm interested and curious to see what sort of film he'll give us because Brian you you and I agree that we don't want this multiversal all this all this stuff going on we don't want you to try to get another no way home yo it's not about that for us we want a spider-man story can Sam Raimi go back to the world and give us a Spider-Man story that's worth telling I'm skeptical I gotta be honest I mean I think this is this is the athlete who was an all-star, who was a borderline Hall of Famer, who's now 10 years removed from that and still has a big name. And when everyone sees the name, still thinks of what he the used to be days. as opposed to what he is. Listen, Sam, if you ever see this show, you can take my comment and you can put it up on your bulletin board. I just don't think he has the fastball anymore. And the reason I say that and I'll even give him half a pass for Multiverse of Madness, which obviously he That's what I was thinking about. officially directed, but we know that was kind of two movies and it kind of was a mess. And he's not all to blame for, for what came out of that. But this is what has me concerned. So from 1990 to 2004, Sam Raimi gave you the Evil Dead kind of cult horror movies. He gave you Dark Man, Army of Darkness, The Hudsucker Proxy, Quick and the Dead, Simple Plan, For Love of the Game, and then culminating with Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 in a 15-year period. That's not Spielberg, but that's 
that's all star. That's very good. There's a lot of very good filmmaking in there. In the last 20 years, he has only directed four movies: Spider Man 3, Drag Me to Hell, Oz the Great and Powerful, and whatever he did on Multiverse of Madness. That's it. So the idea that he is going to take over Spider-Man 4 coming off of nearly $2 billion in global gross and deliver, I would bet against that outcome all day long. But I think he's another name where Sony's looking at it and saying, ironically, the fact that he did direct all these characters in Spider-Man 3 once upon a time and the fact that he did have to deal with all of this mess and scale on Multiverse of Madness makes him a perfect fit to cobble together whatever it is Sony wants to tell. And he has the relationship with Toby from back in the day that maybe True. maybe and possibly helps nobody else wants to do it. I there I think there's some of that, given that this movie is such a skeletal mess otherwise. And I think it's not that they don't want to do it. It's like they don't want to do it on this timeline. They don't want it to be as rushed as they seemingly are making it. And the reason it's being rushed is because everything else they're making sucks. <laughs> but Brian, Rush, and they're supposed to be starting in September. Yeah, with no script and no director. This is sounding like Black Adam territory, and these are professionals. And listen, I'm not a pro or anything like that, but come on, I'm a consumer, yo. Give me something good. This yeah, is what sm- you do, right? Sm- it smells of a cash grab. Yeah. <laughs> right? This, this is what you do, like right? Do, 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 show me what you can do. This smells of we assume you we assume we've got your money because Spider-Man is on the title. Yeah, let us know in the conversation below, Brian. Anything else? If this comes to pass, and we do get word that Toby and Andrew are coming back and they're I don't know who else who else is left? Who did we not I guess we who did we not get <laughs> roped in? I mean, are they I don't assume they're not gonna touch James Franco in any form or capacity. He's canceled, right? So they're that, thinking like, about doing Miles Morales, Brian. Not oh, yeah, thinking about right. it. Well, yeah, actually, you're right. You're right. That actually would be the additional Spider-Man that would be. I in think this that movie. will be the continuation of whatever this movie will be. You're Just right. He'd be the fourth. Getting. He'd be the fourth Spider-Man. This is going to be another situation of animation greatness and stuff, storytelling and stuff like that. Now we do live action, and, and it doesn't compare in terms of feeling what you feel for this. Or what you felt for this now is live action. Now they're doing it to give you a live action version. Yeah. How will it compare? You know. Actually, I would actually say there's a pretty high probability Tom Hardy's in this movie too. I'll predict that because Sony has always look. Sony's been trying to force that for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like they know that like I don't know, <clears throat> if they want to put Morbius in, does anyone care? But I think Tom Hardy's the one actor they have on the roster besides Tom Holland that they can kind of say like, all right, if he's in the movie, that might sell a few tickets. So I think Venom is pretty high probability would be in this movie ironic right that you would bring sam raimi back to direct venom again after the ill-fated venom turn of spider-man 3 so a little bit also right scarlet witch yeah scarlet witch yeah a little bit also she's no longer it's her character dunzo uh she's not under contract anymore and she's kind of indicated like there's no specific plans for her to reappear why do you think that is i can give you one good reason some of the reasons that you'll probably mention will certainly fall under that but i think there's one big reason but go ahead i mean i was my i was gonna say it, it felt a little bit like michael douglas's recent comments that he desperately wanted hank pym to be killed in quantum mania because he wanted <laughs> out it was very disappointed that the character survived he's like I kill me said that. please <laughs> i feel like it's like arnold at the end of predator do it do it now <laughs> I'm here. No <laughs> Kill me, come on! <laughs> oh snap! I gotta find that. <laughs> this is the reason why the Scarlet Witch is no longer with, or not necessarily the Scarlet Witch, Brian, but her version or her iteration is no longer with the MCU, and perhaps why she doesn't want to come back. Uh, to the MCU is that I think she had been hoping to be the one to say it. Oh, no more mutants. She wanted that moment. And here's the problem. She wanted it under any circumstances because she wanted it in her next film, probably. Yeah. Because she didn't want to stick around for what was going on. Nobody, everybody was like, she was hoping for that moment. 
that movie moment of her saying no more mutants. And they perhaps were like, yo, we're not ready for that. And that's not going to happen for a mad long time. She can still have that moment, though. Ten years from now? Ten years from now? Sure. If if she wants to come back and do it. Yeah, I mean, the character is buried under a ton of rock. I mean, there's no reason they could just wait till the tie that in at the right moment and have her have that but yeah it would be a decade i think before you yeah, get to that but point. we would have to sort of get that backstory that exposition between her relationship between magneto and you know what i'm saying her. yeah that's fair that's fair so, so have all that stuff that. i don't yeah. see i don't want that rushed i also feel like a scarlet witch <coughs> relationship with the x-men is not what you do in the first run of live action x-men there's too much goodness in the x-men to get no more mutants none of what no more mutants no, 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 yeah, well, no, I said, like, look at, you know, as we said, like, too look much at money X-Men, to be made. Look at X-Men 97. The, the credits still show all of Magneto's crew from Sabretooth on down. Have you seen them in the show? Have they been doing anything? No, because you don't need them yet. You don't need them yet. They're around. Yeah. Let us know in the conversation below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nudging Report. The show goes on! Yeah!